can see all the athletes for Oklahoma on the field wide receivers running backs defensive backs a lot of adjustments being made by the Sooners here's Luke Bellotti but he wants to kick it to the left side now and Oregon shifts over there And they're saying, wait a minute, the pileup's over there. We've got the ball over here. But if this goes to review, it's going to be awful difficult to reverse this call. Question is, does the ball go 10 yards before it's touched by the receiving team? It's actually hit before 10 yards, and it's hit by an Oregon player. That's illegal. Before it was taken away. First down. Well, I don't know. That ball was touched before it went 10 yards. But it's going to be first down ducks. Well, Shouldn't be. Stoops can challenge this. He has a timeout. Well, he used his timeout on the uh, kickoff when they made the adjustments on the onside kick, so he cannot challenge this. But it is reviewable, as every play is in college football. No question in my mind. It was touched first by an Oregon duck, and it didn't go 10 yards before he touched it. Now they're going to go over and look at this play and review it. Take a look at this thing. You tell me if it goes 10 yards, and you tell me who hit it first. That's the question. Who hit it first? Great kick by the coach's son, Luke Bellotti. Oregon touched There's it no first. No question, that was Oregon. And it didn't go 10 yards. It may have been Brian Pacinger, number 19. That's awful close from that angle. Keep in mind, it's got to be indisputable video evidence. This is a good angle right here. Go up for it. Malcolm Kelly way up in the air, number four for Oklahoma. Chung did get the recovery. Should be Oklahoma football, but instead, Oregon's offense is on the field. That's a good replay right there. Oregon touched it first before they crossed the line. This is from the coach's camera. Got to agree with you, Tim. Ball appeared to be hit by Brian Pacinger, number 19, right there before it, the ball traveled 10 yards. There's no question in my mind, Dan. It's got to be Oklahoma football. And I know that's not what this record crowd wants here at Austin Stadium. But if they're going to use replay properly, they're reviewing the play, and there's indisputable video evidence that's touched first by Oregon before it went 10 yards. Strike up the band in hopes that this call stands. 106 to go if Oregon has the ball to have one timeout but they've got to get in the end zone for a touchdown still checking to see if this ball did go 10 yards this is Dave Kataya our referee from the Pac-10 conference Luke Bellotti with the kick the touch by Pacinger there the recovery by Oregon and now the review well there's no question the ball went 10 yards after it was batted the proper call is it was batted before it went 10 yards right there and it was touched by Oregon and that's illegal. And here comes the call. To review there's conclusive video evidence that the ball was touched by a receiving team player which makes the ball live. Oregon ball. First That's a bad call. 
That's a bad call. The ball was touched first by an Oregon player, not the receiving team, not Malcolm Kelly. So the Ducks get an incredible.